Carol Riley is a groundbreaking entrepreneur who works as an engineer and roboticist. When I was a child, I really wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to help people. And so I started working in the ER and the info desk and the gift shop and trying to absorb as much about being a doctor as possible. I realized that doctors were able to help one patient at a time and they worked tirelessly to do so. While I was there, I learned that a medical invention called a pacemaker could actually save millions of lives at once. And that made me really start thinking like, what career path do I need to be on to be able to invent something that can impact millions of people at one time? I had a fairly typical childhood. My dad was a computer engineer and my mom was a flight attendant. Whenever I wanted to show her something or did something, she would always ask me, yes, but how does this help people and how does this impact people? So I knew whatever I wanted to do in the future, I knew that I had the creativity to create something great and on the other side, something that would have a huge impact on society and humanity. Currently, I am a co-founder of a startup called Drive.ai, which builds artificial intelligence for self-driving cars. There's 33,000 people that die every year in the United States because of car accidents, and 94% of that is due to human error. It just, you know, to put that in perspective, that's like a jet engine going down every single day, and that doesn't make any sense. There's just so many ways to bring intelligence to cars and have them drive safer. For me, that motivates me to get up every day to really work on these type of societal problems and try to figure out ways for a man and machine to work together to be better than any one of them individually. So if we can make cars smarter, if we can make humans more aware, I think those are all benefits that will change transportation in the next you know, five, 10 years. Engineering means problem solving. You are identifying a problem and thinking of creative solutions. I myself am really interested in robotics because it's the cross-section of a lot of different types of engineering. So you would need, for instance, a mechanical engineer that can design the physical system. You might need an electrical engineer to do the wire, to connect it, to run the motors and sensors and actuators. And then you might need a computer programmer or a computer engineer to write the software behind it, which might be the intelligence behind it to actually move the directions that you want it to move. And these could all be individual people or it could be a mesh of one person. And there's a lot of different solutions for a problem. Here at Drive.ai, we don't build the car, but we add sensors onto the car to make it more aware. So it could be things like cameras, which are similar to how humans see. So it would be like the eyes. Then you might add, you know, like sonar sensors, radar sensors. And these are other types of sensors, just like the human has, makes the car more fully aware. Think about certain paths and how to interact with other cars. And we really write rules for the car to follow as it's driving safely down the road. Because I'm the only girl, it's like a double-edged sword because I think most guys have so low expectations of girls that they make fun of them or you stand out. Before, when I was thinking about things, I would sometimes be afraid to take a step in a certain way because I was afraid I might fail in a certain path or it might embarrass me or people would think that I wasn't as smart as I was if I, if I stumbled. There just needs to be even probably more women in the field so that that type of reaction doesn't happen. Every step I take now, it's not about failing or not failing, but I think it's about throwing yourself in a situation where you can learn the most from people that you respect. The advice I would give to young children anywhere, if when you're in an environment that you look around and there are not so many people who are similar to you, is to gain creative confidence, to grow and learn as much as possible.